Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, today I'll be showing you how to improve your battery life on the new Samsung One UI. And of course, this will apply to devices such as the Samsung Galaxy S10, S8, S9, and any device with the One UI. As you can see, this is the One UI interface. It is quite refined and it's the new look of the Samsung devices. So the first thing I want to do, guys, to save battery life is you can actually go in here and pull down the quick access toggles up here you're going to swipe over to your right and right away you should see a mode called night mode now night mode is for night use to reduce the glare of the screen you notice the white backgrounds but of course if you go ahead and tap night mode what should happen is that it turns the menus and backgrounds to black doing that of course gives you the added advantage of turning off any pixels that are not being used as these type of um, displays actually when a pixel is turned off it shows complete black which will save power so just by doing that you'll notice that the menus are now uh, blocked I can go in settings they're also blocked so if you keep this turned on all the while what's gonna happen is that you should now be able to save a lot more of your battery life that's the first tip quite easy all right second tip you're gonna go um, find a wallpaper and of course I have a bunch of wallpapers this is my wallpaper collection and if you go through you're gonna notice that you have various colors now a colorful wallpaper such as this one is beautiful but of course it's going to use a lot of power seeing that the extra colors and pixels that has to be turned on now what I'm gonna do is you're gonna find a um, background with lots of black if it can be completely black it will be perfect this one should be okay as you can see most of the pixels will be off except for a little bit of white and you want to set that black background as your default background so I'm just gonna go ahead and set and as you can see here I've just changed the wallpaper and you'll notice the totally black background along with the night mode and of course with the night mode now you have the added advantage that it's actually turning off the pixels and saving power so that's the second thing now the third thing you can actually do again guys is you're gonna come in here and if you have features such as Bluetooth being on as most people will have and a lot of features in here that are not necessary and what's happening is that they'll just run in the background so most people keep their bluetooth on so i advise that you turn off features such as your bluetooth so let's go ahead and turn bluetooth off and any other feature such as nfc you can turn that off as well and all those unnecessary radios you can turn them off as they do use excess power location is another one so if you're not using any particular location service you can just go ahead and disable location services as well and that should save you some amount of battery so again that's bluetooth if it's not being used turn it off location turn that off if it's not being used and of course nfc and so on as these are extra radios that burn a lot of power now if you have done all of that the fourth thing you're gonna do guys is you're gonna come in here again and you're gonna go to look for um power mode and here it is in the first menu and if you just go ahead instead of turning power mode on you can simply tap the text so i'm just going to tap the text right there and you see here it has several power modes and what you want to do is to use the best one optimize is default but of course in case you need um, additional power what you can do is just go ahead and um, set it to high that would be for highest performance that will reduce the battery performance but of course you set it to medium or maximum and my advice is that you use the lower two set it to medium so we're going to set it to medium and it tells you what it does and you're going to apply and as i said medium is what i recommend but just in case what i advise is go back and set it to maximum power saving if you're in a situation that you need to save battery and you're running low and things are critical that you maximize battery performance so switch from optimized to medium power saving and by doing that you should save a lot of battery and for the final tips guys you want to go to 
um, your Google Play Store. Make sure you're connected to the internet. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I'm connected to the internet. And of course, once you do that, just simply load up from here. Tap on the menu in the upper right. Then you're going to go to My Apps. Once you're in My Apps, just make sure you update all your apps. So if there's any apps that's not up to date, make sure you update them. And of course, if there's an old app that's on your phone that hasn't been updated in forever, I advise you uninstall and find a more efficient one. As if any of these actually run in the background, they can actually prevent, especially if they are poorly coded, can sap a lot of um, power. And of course, a bonus tip, which I call an extra tip right here, which is the sixth tip, is you can go to settings, you can go into apps, once in apps, click the three buttons upper right, then you go to special access, and of course, optimize battery usage. And as you see here, it says apps not optimized and it's showing all the apps that are not optimized if you want you could see all apps and what you want to do from here is you can choose which ones to optimize so if there's a particular app that is not optimized and you think it should be optimized but it's not you can go ahead and check it from here or you can uncheck apps i advise that you limit apps um, the only apps i'd advise you not to limit for example social media apps that you need to get notifications because if the feature is turned on, what it's going to do is going to control background processes, meaning it will not run in the background. If it's not running in the background, it requires to send you notifications. Then, therefore, it will not work as it should. But, of course, for every other app, other than critical apps, make sure this feature is turned on. Or you can turn on and off as needed. And, of course, guys, that is my final tip. If you like this video, please go ahead and like. This is Ricardo from Block Tech Tips. With another set of quick tips showing you optimize your device for the best performance and battery life on the new One UI interface from Samsung. It's your kind of symbol and text time guys. Bye.